Hi, I'm Joe from WebZone Line, and today we're going to review pond filters. All ponds with fish will require some level of filtration. Uh, choosing the proper filter is dependent on many things. Your pump size, your pond size, number of fish, uh, hours of sunlight, percentage of plant coverage. And I know it can be confusing, uh, but there are mainly just three types of filters. Your submersible, gravity fed, and pressurized. Uh, today we're gonna review those three styles. Submersible filters are just that, submerged directly in the pond, and these are a few we carry here. And these are nice for smaller applications where external filtration uh, is not an option. Uh, general filtration media is often filter pads. Some are even available as kits, which include pump UV and often a fountainhead. Uh, their downside, you actually have to physically get into the pond to pull them out to clean them, so there is some level of increased maintenance uh, with submersible filters. Gravity-fed filters, or waterfall filters, are some of the most cost-effective and low-maintenance systems uh, available for your pond. Uh, how these work, uh, your pump pushes water through an inlet, generally located on the back side of these, and they fill from the bottom up through filtration media and then overflowing via gravity. Uh, these are generally installed at the tops of waterfalls, uh, creating a nice even flow at their start. Pressurized units are just that, pressurized. So as water enters and exits these units, the exit is still under pressure. So these units can be installed anywhere around the pond, uh, unlike the gravity-fed filters, which have to be installed above the water level. These can be partially buried. Uh, most even have UV clarifiers, and the majority have backwash capabilities making cleaning a breeze. With so many options available, choosing the filter that best fits your specific needs can be overwhelming. So please know you can always contact us with questions. My name's Joe from Webs Online. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. We want to make sure we're making the right videos. So don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms.